Welcome back to the 2024 St. Patrick's Classic out here at Shady Oaks Disc Golf Course. Um, out here with the back 11, finishing out this tournament. Um, this tournament is presented by Final Night Sports, filmed by Premium Disc Golf. Shout out Premium Disc Golf. We're almost at that thousand subscriber mark. Will Ling and Maximus Meyer doing commentary. Shout out, we saw the In-N-Out Burger on there. Shout out to them for hooking us up with a meal for this event and our players pack. That was awesome. Absolutely. So on the front 11, our lead card struggled a little bit on the putting green. Avi shooting a one down on that front 11, but uh, increasing his lead from one stroke to three strokes. And everybody else shot poorly. It was all over par. Yeah. And, uh, OBs everywhere. A little bit of struggling from everybody else. So Mike shot an even. Jacob and Trent both shot plus one. So we'll definitely be looking to make up some strokes and try and catch up to Avi here. The third and fourth card made some moves, though. So they came up. Absolutely. We'll take a look at the leaderboard here. Um, but you'll see that uh, chase card and third card. Sam with that fire six down on the front 11 that is making up strokes for sure um jeff Faze with a minus four josh anton with a minus four as well josh an absolute legend out here at shady oaks um definitely gonna see him make a push towards the leaderboard up the leaderboard um and we'll jump right in here on hole 12 the third temple uh hole c Make sure to like and subscribe to Premium Disc Golf. All right, out here on hole C. We're starting to go around the stadium here. You got the gazebo, that's OB on the right. Everybody's gonna kind of shoot toward that and hope it fades. Yep. The amphitheater on the left, and it's all OB short of the amphitheater and left. Also OB deep. This is a very protected pin with all the OB around. Yeah, it really does play as a peninsula island. Nice shot, Mike. Yeah, everybody playing that high hyzer, looking to just kind of spike it into the basket. That's got to stand up. And it does. All the way. I wonder what he threw there. Oh, oh, that skipped long OB. Yeah, the unfortunate skip off the base of the tree there, all the way to out of bounds. This is really wide. Trying to avoid the gazebo. Oh, wow. Perfect. Catching that tree, but right there for the putt. A little hit and sit. Jacob from 30 and front cage. Yeah. Looks like the putting woes continue for him. Avi, great par save. Par, baby. Straddle around the tree, tap it in. All right, it's great putt from Trent right there. And Mike's just absolutely parked for his birdie. So we got two pars and two birdies. Yeah, Trent and Mike making up some strokes already Very on the nice. leader. We're gonna go over here to hole D. It's a uh, 400 foot with OB long and OB right and left too, huh? Yeah, OB pretty, wrapping the basket like a lot of the, hole, the holes out here. Pretty wide open. Very wide open. Um, you can really throw anything here. You just wanna get the distance right and keep it close on this pin. Oh. Mike with a huge forehand. Most players are not getting here on a forehand shot like that, so. Identicals to his second round that I watched live. Trent, keep it out here wide. That needs to hook up fast if he wants to get close to the basket. Not OB, probably like 50 out, 45 out. Yeah, he's definitely still got a putt. There's nothing in the way, so. Jacob going more straight at it. it. The backhand. Oh. Almost catches the base there, but skips a little bit deep. And our leader. Oh. Looked like it just came out really high out of his hand. Turning, Flipped over. Turning. Not OB, though. Safe. Very long putt for the There's bird. the caddy daddy. Shout out to him. Avi with the too. huge putt. Beautiful putt, Avi. What was that? That's like 80 feet, right? That had to have been outside of circle, too. Yeah, that was outside of circle, too. Oh, here we nice. go. Get it going, guys. Looks like our lead card has figured out the putting stroke. Oh, front cage again. 
But what a putt from Avi with the lead and making that huge putt. Putting a lot of pressure on his uh, competitors for sure. Good for Trent to follow up the big putt like that. Absolutely. On the whole E here, this is a par four. Um, off the tee, you're kind of playing this long spike hyzer, just like Mike threw. That is beautiful positioning. You really don't want to push long on that. There's OB long, it's the most common OB. They put OB on the left side short too. Um, yeah. All the way around. So you've got the car path to the right, that's OB. The woods line on the left, that's OB. And as you get closer to the basket, they lined the backside of it with and OB it as well. tapers skinny up there. Yeah, when you get up by the basket, you really only have 15 feet in all directions around the basket if you want to stay safe. Basically, basically, if you get out of this hole without any OB, you are taking a stroke on half the field at least. Absolutely. Drive is not too difficult. You just want to push down here straight, get that nice fade out to the left. Uh, pushing it past this... Uh, little yeah. orange tree that you see in the frame right now is a great spot to be. And Avi's just got this straight shot down towards the basket. You just want to crest this hill and get something that right moves over. in right up. That's perfect. Yeah. That's putting for a three. That's a beautiful shot. Really could not have been played any better. Jacob going for the skip as well. And the same result. Oh, wow, almost tripled great OB. shot. But you can see how close that uh, OB line is. Jacob only 10, 15 feet away from the basket. He almost went OB. Looks like they all went over stable mid. Don't. Okay. Trent beautifully played, skipping it off the path, twirling around the basket. Mike a little bit flat out of his hand. Wow, what a great grouping from this card. This has to be the best that this hole has been played all weekend. Everybody right there for the birdie putt. No OBs. Really surprising, but great work by our lead card for sure. Everybody tapping in their birdies. Star frame on this hole is honestly very surprising. I think this was playing as one of the harder holes on the... I think it was the course. hardest hole of the weekend. Yeah. Just because the OB is so tight to the basket. Very well done from our lead card. And then after this hole, we'll be going back to the traditional course. Um, picking it up on hole 11. <laughs> Most people are going the forehand here, a bit of a low ceiling, and you do have that one uh, dead tree right in the middle that you have to Ooh. Mike almost ringing it up on that skip. That was basically, if you beat this finger as a pro, it's pretty good. Line, yeah. Trent going with the backhand, pushing it just deep, but great shot. Straight putter shot. It's really clean for a straight putter shot. Obviously. Absolutely. Keeping it dead straight the entire way. Avi does have a forehand. First Inside. forehand of the, of the round. Wow, he got super lucky through those branches, but hard. absolutely hard. Yeah, most people play a left to right line, a lefty or a forehand that skips right here at the end on the outside. Yeah, just, just like how like Jacob that. played it. That's the traditional play. That flex forehand. Everybody putting for the birdie. Trent a little bit tricky through these branches. Yeah, tough putt for him. Especially with everyone else right there for the birdie. And everybody tapping in their birdies. Avi, I believe that was his uh, turkey, right? After that big putt, or even yeah, four in a row. Yeah, you're right. He is absolutely on fire right now. I think that's three in a row, because he had that OB. Oh, that's him. right. Yeah, C. But putting together a great back 11 so far. So Trent gives up a stroke on the card. Everybody else birdies. Messing up the star frame, Trent. Yeah. Oh, he's got three strokes on Trent, and now Mike is 
push his way up to tie for second. Now on hole 12, there's a lot of OB on the left where Mike's going. Ooh, yeah, that's out. Yeah, so um, it's basically an island. Uh, not, it's a peninsula. It's really, uh, there's OB long, OB right, OB left, probably all within the circle. Oh, Avi also skipping out of bounds on the left side. Another the, o the OB on the right's just right there. It's so in play. Yeah, another one of these holes where there's OB just on every side of the basket. You guys play a very straight shot. If you leak out any direction, it's most likely going OB. Trent hanging out really wide. Everybody to the left of the basket. Oh, Three he also OBs. finds the OB. Three OBs is a lot for that hole, but it is the play to play to the left, really. Wow! Good save, Avi. Avi making some great putts here. He's really found his putting stroke. Cashing in some big ones. Oh, dead center yeah. spit like out that from knuckle. Trent. No, it looks like he hit the top knuckle. Did you see that? You think so? It looked yeah. like it was off the pole to me. Man, Mike really putting from that left leg. Yeah. Leaning Draining. over, but making some good putts. Jacob, only person to stay in bounds and capitalizes with the only birdie. So Avi going OB and not losing any strokes to uh, second place here. That's pretty huge. That's what putting will get you, though, for sure. Yeah, that's two par saves from OB off the tee. Yeah. All right, we got hole 13. This is 370 straight up. This is probably one of the easier uh, playing holes for the open division because everybody likes to throw far. It's just got a little bit of elevation change, and the tee pad's a little bit of uphill too. Looks like we had Jacob. Just a little short left. Mike a little short right. Yeah, you definitely want to get up towards the basket. Um, you got some long grass short, so you can't really count on the skip. Avi leaking it out high. I'd say that's the most common miss I've seen. It's just releasing a little bit high, catching those branches. That's because that tee pad's uphill. It's, it's, it goes up. Yeah, it does slope up a little bit. Beautiful end. drive, Trent. There we go. Trent, great shot. Skipping just long left. Putting the catch cam into play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gonna have a putt for the birdie. Little patent pending from Avi here. Looks like he'll be able to get up and down from that. Yeah, it looks like he beat that tree just barely and skipped right up to it. He's been making a lot of really good par saves, and when you're in the lead, that is huge. You just not give up any bogey strokes. Mike kind of just a pitch up for his par. Same with Jacob. Yeah, Jacob was trying to run it for sure, but a little bit off, long putt for sure. Over the branch putt from Trent. Very Nice. Great hole from Trent. Great drive. Great putt through that, those branches. See, he really thrives on the farther holes. Okay. Absolutely. Everybody else is going to be tapping in their pars. Very impressed with Avi's game, though. Just keeping really cool. Not letting any of his mistakes compound. Just he throws a bad shot, he just recovers immediately. And just really focus the the hair and the hat really give him this like I'm not I don't want to make eye contact I'm really focused and dead serious look yeah playing his own game for sure out here on hole 14 part 3 284 feet most people are going putter or mid you're kind of trying to throw this flex shot where you bend it out to the right and then come back left at the very end if it leaks right though there's that OB that a lot of people are going to contend with there is that creek that runs through the middle of the fairway and then Kind of tapers off to the right side. Here's my Leaking out left. Didn't get that initial turn, but great kick through the woods, honestly. It's going to have a buzz. Avi. This looks like a great shape on this shot. High. Flexing it out. You got 25 a putt, footer? Putting league putt gonna be right there. Jacob, this is probably just a layup for the par. Tough spot. 
Mike? Ooh, yeah, big Mike. pop Way from Mike. <laughs> no jump or anything, just pure spin. A little bit of hyzer right in the park. He doesn't really put a lot of legs into his straddle putt, huh? He kind of hinges at the back. It's very spinny for sure. Avi with a 30 footer here. Out of the branches and just dead center. He's really starting to feel it now, I bet. He's thinking, oh, only a few more holes till I win my first eight here. It certainly looks that way. I mean, if you birdie every hole, then it's hard to catch you for sure. Trent, great birdie. And Jacob with a low par. Some great putts on that hole, though. On to hole 15, the moat hole, as we like to call it. Uh, most people are trying to lay up short of the wall. Looks there's... like he's going for it. And oh, wow. Out. Yeah, so there's this little moat that surrounds the basket. Plays like an island. There's OB all the way up the hole on the left, separating hole 15 and 16. Yeah, if you lay up Mike's short, short. you've got a 30-footer for the birdie. This Ooh, is left. Really there is OB on that left side. Out. First slam of nerves that we've seen from Avi. Yeah, that was the first really sawed off shot. Huh? Yeah. Jacob, this is more of the line you're looking for. A little bit lower. Oh, just oh, that yeah. big skip. It looked fast and flat. Yeah. Fast and flat. A lot of people are trying to hit. 50, 60 feet short of the basket and just slide up there. Straddle, forehand. Oh, oh um, big mistake. Save par. <laughs> and he's like, slow down. <laughs> Not trying to run nice. it, but good bit for sure. But he's going to be right there for the bogey and with... Mm. Oh... This is a bad hole for our lead guard. Yeah. A lot of OBs going on here, flying around. Jacob missing the putt and going OB again. Trent, great par save. That's right where here. you want to be putting for birdie from right there. That's a perfect birdie spot, but a lot of us end up having to make it for par. Yeah. Probably for the bogey. Our lead card is going to be taking quite a few overstrokes here. This is one of the hardest holes of the weekend, too. I think it was 9 to 10, E, and this one. Mm -hmm. the hardest holes. Makes sense. A lot of OB that can happen here. And as we saw with Jacob's putt, a lot of missed putts can go OB because the OB is just so close. On hole 16 here, we've got an OB line on the left side, but really you're just trying to throw a dead straight shot. Most people are going yeah. mid-range here. Leaking left. Yeah, Trent leaked left and kicked left. OB. The initial gap is really what gets you on this hole. If you hit the initial gap, most people are going to line it up to that log. Yeah. Oh, oh, right oh, under the log. under the log. That's you don't see that very often. Beautifully done. Avi, only two strokes over Trent, so... Such a violent movement. Really putting his whole body into it. Yeah, great drive, though, with Trent going OB. Looks like he might pick up two strokes here. Give him a real comfortable lead going into these last few holes. Jacob, a great straight shot. 25. 70-footer yeah. for the par for Trent. Like for bird. Beautiful. Nice. Stay within three of Avi. Two holes left. But more importantly, pushing him into that tie for second place at the moment. Yep, Avi makes that putt. I wonder what team he's going to get sponsored by. 
Sponsorship is definitely coming soon with how he's been playing. Is he going to be DGA? What does he throw? I don't know. I've never played with Avi. Avi's the only player on the card that I haven't played with before, but... Looks like we're going to be playing with him some more. <laughs> Full 17, 420 feet. This is definitely one of the bonus birdies on the course just because it's such a long hole. Oh, oh that line looked perfect until he hit that tree. If yeah. he gets inside that tree, it almost goes to the basket. It looked great out of his hand. That's kind of what you're looking for. A shot that goes through that initial gap, bending to the right, a little bit of fade back at the end. Let's see what Avi does here. He's on the inside, it can go. Looks really good. Yeah, well, uh, short. didn't push up there all the way, but... He might have hit that tree, that same tree that you always hit. <laughs> but he is right there for the par. Probably a jump putt approach and then tap in the par. And At this point, he just needs two pars and he's got it in the bag. Oh, I hit the same one you hit. Mm. Didn't quite see what happened there, but... He hit the same one hit that... that same, car, same tree. Yeah, I hit the same tree that uh, Mike did. Yeah. yeah. Trent has plenty of distance to get to this hole. Overturned a little bit out of his hand though. Slides up to probably like a 70, 80 footer. It's like Avi had the best drive. Mike just pitching up for his par. Everybody little forehand pitch ups. Avi with the putt. He's just laying yeah, it up. Yeah, just laying it up. Take the money and run. <laughs> laying it smart. Trent's got to look at this. Ooh. Really solid run, honestly. Gave a great height. But everybody's going to be tapping in for their pars. You got a little bit of a... Gallery building over there. Yeah. There's a path on the right side of 18 that is a great spot to view the last hole. Lead card coming in on. A lot of OB on 18. A lot of OB on 18. Got a chase card check in here. Jeff Land with a big putt for par. Landon and Jeff on 18, it looks like. Jeff got a par. And land in. I think this is for a birdie. Come on, man. Nice. Big putt for birdie. So right now he's at 22 down. Mike is one stroke behind him. He has to birdie if he wants to jump into a tie for second. And then Trent has to birdie this to get into third place. Otherwise he's tied for or fourth place. Otherwise he's tied with uh, Jeff. So even though Avi has it pretty locked up for the lead, so it's still a lot of action. That doesn't go OB. Perfect. Yeah, and I think Mike is throwing a harp here or something really slow on that forehand. Puts it right there though. He's definitely gonna have a putt for that birdie. Oh, are they all gonna go forehand? Somebody's going straight out of the putter. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Overturned. Honestly, if he goes OB, oh, he, went out. he did go out. But it didn't even matter. It. He can still lay up for the bogey, and he's still. I Good job, Avi. Seems like he might not. But great tournament from Avi. I think he averaged 1040. Crazy, crazy to be averaging. Look at that. 16. Nice shot. Perfectly checking out. Smooth forehand from Jacob. Any forehand that goes over that log just filters right to the basket without going OB. It's perfect. See the straight line, it just it leaks out so easily. Oh. oh. He was trying to. Trying to keep it low to stay away from the OB, but catches that middle tree. Mm -hmm. He's trying to tone it down too much. He's to over it. Up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if he makes that putt, he's tied with Jeff Faze. 20 down. Avi to save par to finish the game. This would be so cool. He doesn't managed. have to make it. I know, I'm sure. He, oh, he's laying it up. Yeah, just I laying it up. I was up. sure he wasn't even going to try to make it. Yeah. 
I was I didn't expect him to lay up. Great oh. tournament. Great win from Avi. At 16 year, years old, this kid's game is. It looks like level. Mike and Landon tied for second. Well, Mike still has to make his putt, but he is pretty close. Jacob's putt for birdie. Right in. Not sure where that puts him on the leaderboard, but. Yeah, he dropped pretty far down the leaderboard this, yeah. this 11 hole. Finish that, I think, a two down for the round. Not what he's hoping for. My huge birdie to move up to a uh, tie for second place with Landon. Very solid round for Mike. Trent with the par. He dropped pretty far down. Way to give it a run, though, dude, with the Buckies. <laughs> yeah, with the Buckies. Fast pro shot and Buckies. I love that. Somebody pinch him. His first A tier when he's 16 years old. NorCal McBeth, Avi Gomez. Good job, Avi. Keep your hat down. Keep your hat down. Keep your eyes forward. Keep your eyes on the basket. It's awesome. Congrats, Avi. Awesome playing this weekend. Take a look at that leaderboard. See how our players finished out. Everybody congratulating Avi on the incredible tournament. Huge to win an eighth year this early in his career. Yeah, we're still looking for it. <laughs> we got C tiers all day. Yup, Avi winning with just a four down, but. So Trent dropped a fourth. It looks like Mike got up into the podium here. Landon all the way from the chase card up to the podium. Avi Gomez taking $1,800 home. Isn't that beautiful? Josh with a hot round at minus 11. Woo, Huge shout out to Josh. Him. He was out there mowing the course beforehand, putting in a lot of work. He did all the OB string. Yeah. Great, Great to, to see. see. Sam and Jeff tied for six. Great tournaments for those guys. Good first round, Jeff. That was really good. That hot, hot round, 10 down in the wind.